Dateline TCO Performance Center in Egan, Minnesota, a.k.a. the fresh new digs of the NFC North champions and holders of the skull, your Minnesota Vikings. The rookie minicamp was in full swing and media was granted one day of access, and yours truly was on hand to see what I could see. I was pretty excited about the assignment for a number of reasons. One, there's a certain level of excitement one gets the first time at a new facility. Two, I haven't had a chance to cover football since the Super Bowl. Three, hockey's over. Well, in Minnesota anyway. And four, the Twins just started an 11-day, nine-game road trip. Prior to the workout, we were given access to Coach Zimmer and a few draft picks. The press conferences were held in two varieties, podium and scrum. As the name would indicate, there is a podium with a microphone on it, and usually a fancy branded backdrop that the subject stands in front of. Reporters and camera operators alike then form a half moon around the setup as they hurl questions at said subject. The scrum is a podium-free version of a presser, and you've seen this a million times. Subject in the middle, surrounded by reporters with microphones and cell phones jammed in their face trying to get the latest soundbite. The NFL, and by extension its teams, have very strict guidelines on what can and can't be filmed or photographed. They also put an embargo on social media posting during the practice. This was made very clear to us in all of our communications about the event, but just in case we needed a reminder, they put it up on the TV screens for us too. After the presser and before the actual practice, we had about an hour of time to kill. So I took the opportunity to go through my photos, make a few edits to my selects, and send them off. The new facility is amazing, and I can't wait to see it upon completion. There's still lots of construction going on, and as a safety precaution, we were ushered around campus rather than through it. We were held up on the east end of the practice fields just out of view of team activities until we heard the okay to go. Once we were notified, we would have about 15 minutes to shoot and film. The horn let us know it was time to go, and this would be my first opportunity to cover the Vikings 2018 draft class, a class that includes cornerback Mike Hughes out of Central Florida, tackle Brian O'Neill out of Pitt, defensive tackle Jalen Holmes out of Ohio State, and linebacker Devontae Downs out of Cal. Again, the facilities from what I've seen so far are world class, and I'm really looking forward to covering mini camps, OTAs, and training camps when the time comes. I think the fan experience is going to be amazing as well, and if you're ever given the opportunity to attend an event there, you should definitely take it.